The year was 1980. The economy was in good shape. The stock market was making money for lots of people. Food was plenty. The wine was flowing free. There was no worry about terrorism. The lines at the airport were basically non-existent. This video will show you how an individual without technical training but with a lots of desire can accomplish. Here we see a clever fixture. This fixture allows us to make the ribs for a 16 foot diameter satellite dish antenna. This photograph shows the finished rib that was made in the fixture previously shown. Here we see the hub section. This is where the 24 ribs are attached. Now we see the hub is attached to the rotating axle and the 24 ribs are attached to the hub. With this design the satellite antenna is assembled on its own rotating axle and therefore no lifting of the assembled antenna is needed because this is a one-man operation. Now we came to the final piece of the dish antenna. Here we see on the 24 petals on each side of the ribs there are a quarter of an inch by a quarter of an inch groove where this pedal slides in to form a parabolic section of the dish antenna. The thickness of this petal is only 30 thousandths of an inch and thus allows to insert a quarter of an inch diameter splined rubber, the same ones that used to hold the screen doors screens into the screen doors. It is UV stabilized so the sun will not degrade it. It is somewhat flexible and will change as with temperature. This method have a great advantage over any other fasteners such as rivets and screws and etc. So finally we see the fully assembled dish antenna on its own axis and this is accomplished by one, one person with a screwdriver and a 716 open end wrench. There are two types of rotating axle. On this picture what we call a straight axle. The problem with this type is that as soon as we get off center the weight of the load will change us to that side. So if we have a 200 pound antenna, now we have a 200, now we have a force to push this antenna back in the opposite direction. Or we have to have a 200 pound force to hold it in the going direction. This means that a large motor and a strong support on the dish. Also, this large force could deform the dish. Now we see an offset rotating axle. Certain percentage of the load is located below the axle and a certain percentage of the load is located above the axle. By proper design for the specific antenna, a balance is achieved. What this means? That means that as the axle is rotated, the force is needed as the force has to overcome the friction in the ball bearings or whatever type of a bearing is used. Now we came to the satellite receiver. This receiver has a modular type. We can see three vital parts of the satellite receiver. On the top is the IF section. Below it is the video and audio section and the last section as the mixer section. As with any manufactured product, testing is needed. Here we see the testing of the sections of the satellite receiver. And finally the finished satellite receiver. Now all this work was a garage type of operation. But what really counts 
is that it worked, and it worked very well.